Welcome back to the channel guys. So I just want to show off my Intel i7-8700K 5GHz overclock BIOS settings. Just want to make you aware this isn't an overclock guide so if you use any of these settings you do so at your own risk and I will not be held responsible for that. So I'm just letting you know I'm using 16GB of DDR4 running at 3866MHz. Jumping into the CPU settings I'm using the all core of 50 which is 5GHz and CPU cache ratio minimum cache ratio is at 4.7. Um, FCL K frequency is at 800 megahertz. I have seen people put it to 1000, but I generally leave it at 8 because I don't see what it does. AVX ratio I've left at auto on my motherboard that means zero, so there's no AVX offset in use. Ring to core ratio offset I've enabled. Intel speed step technology and shift technology I've disabled as that basically is a power saving technology. I've left Intel Turbo Boost on because that's how these generation CPUs overclock. Long duration power limit and short duration power limit I've maxed out at 4095. Generally that's the highest number you can go on this motherboard and that's just so I avoid any CPU throttling. Long duration maintained is at default at one second but I've increased it to two. Um, probably doesn't do much in the grand scheme of things. In terms of voltage now I've got a fixed voltage of 1.250 volts. As you can see, load line calibration on the ASRock level one means there's no V droop. On other motherboards, the higher the level, um, the less V droop. But on the ASRock motherboards, the lower the level means the less V droop. So basically using no V droop whatsoever. Um, VCCIO voltage is at 1.75. Some people can get it down to 1.1. I found that um, I just don't like it that low because I don't want any crashing at all on my my system. Moving on to CPU configuration, just want to show you that I've also disabled all CPU C state support, so there is no power saving um, options going on here. Everything is at five gigahertz, um, ready to go at all times. So that's pretty much it. Just want to be clear again, this is not an overclocking guide. I'm just showing you off my BIOS settings. So moving into the operating system now, so I'm at my desktop, um, I have my power option in my Windows 10 set to um, maximum, so basically my CPU is always running at 5 gigahertz and ready to go, I don't really deal with power saving applications or um, techniques to, to limit um, my CPU core, I want it to be at its maximum speed at all times. And I generally idle in the low 30s, as you can see 32, 33, 34. Core 2 is like my warmest core for whatever reason, it's like 4 degrees higher than everything else. But um, idling in the 30s is decent. So I just want to quickly show you, it's at 1.248 volts, but 1.25, so there's no V droop here, it's a fixed voltage. Um, let me just put something up like IDA 64 and quickly run a quick CPU test just so you can have a quick look at temps so with IDA I can do stability test and just move this out of the way so I can do a stability test to stress the CPU and FPU and this will show you CPU usage and throttling um, my CPU does not throttle for any reason so uh, temps will increase um, to the mid 70s as maximum but generally they'll hover in the high 60s which is really really good for a non d lidded um, Intel i7-8700K at 5 gigahertz. so I definitely got a decent chip to be able to run 5 gigahertz at low voltage I have seen chips do it with even lower voltage um, so I'm not saying my chips are golden but it definitely is um, better than the average I'm going to stop that now. I could run it for 30 minutes and show you, but uh, rather not. What I, I've actually got some work to do, so I'm going to get that done. I've actually just made a Battlefield um, 5 closed alpha 1440p gameplay for my channel. I'm going to um, just compress this in handbrake now to 1440p because I build in 4K and then compress it down. It makes things look a little bit better. So it's going to build this in the handbrake and to show you a typical use scenario and this is quite a heavy stress test on the CPU let's put that on my desktop here call it
Close alpha. Okay, so that's what it's going to be called, and this is going to be built at 1440p. So that's going to be building now. We can watch the temps. So this is one of my this is one of my heavy use scenarios. You can see power is about 135 watts right now, and I'm still able to keep things under 80 degrees. And this is like something that you'll never see in a game. A um, game will never run that hard. Okay guys, so that's all done. I know it seemed like it was a short moment because I sped up the time for the interest but uh, of, of you viewers of course, but that was about a 10 minute rendering. Would have been quicker if I wasn't capturing my desktop, but it's obviously necessary just to show you guys. And the um, reason I use Handbrake is that the original project was 2.49 gig. After compressing it, it is now 1.03. So. 1.5 gigabytes I'm um, shaved off and basically virtually no loss in quality so that really for my my use of my PC that is the hardest um, program I'm gonna run and it basically keeps things in check and it's 100% stable so I'm very happy with that so hopefully that's giving you a quick look at my 5 gigahertz overclock at 1.25 volts hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and as always Thanks for watching. Woo!